What's up with you? For today's video, we're the full Litwick Evolution team. We got Litwick, Lampert, and Chandelua. A pretty cool bunch of Pokemon. Now, we've got the abilities Flash Fire, Flame Body, and Infiltrate. In their own right, they're all pretty good, so you can actually have success with every single one of them. I'll be using two Litwicks, two Lamperts, and two Chandeliers to make up a full team of six with the Normals and Shinies. First battle here, this one is against Jim Z. Now, I have to say, the Shinies for this uh, evolution uh, team are very, very cool. Like, all of them are good. Like, Litwick's uh, uh, flame actually changes to a blue flame. Lampert's eyes actually change color, and the flame inside of it looks different, too. And, of course, Chandelure is uh, burning orange flames. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, so we've got my Litwick as the lead here, and we've got a Weezing Galar. So I've got a Trick Room, Overheat, Shadow Ball, and Shockwave Litwick set. We've got the, with the Flash Fire, and item is going to be Focus Sash. I've got max, uh, max Health and Max Special Attack Quiet Nature. Now, whose favorite Pokemon is Litwick, Lampert, or Chandelure? Let me know in the comment section of the video if this is one of your favorite Pokemon. Is there anyone out there who's absolutely is their favorite Pokemon? Or maybe you just really like this uh, Pokemon line? Let me know in the comment section of the video. I've always quite liked uh, Chandelure. It's a really, really cool Pokemon. And, you know, I, I like the designs of Litwick too, how it you know, the starts off with a candle and you know, goes into a, a, a chandelier, I guess you could say. Okay, so uh, Weezing's going to take a lot of damage there from the Shadow Ball. I'm going to go for another Shadow Ball here, and that is going to be enough almost to take it out. Uh, now Weezing's going to go for a Strange Steam here on Litwick. Weezing doesn't really have a lot to hit me with just due to my typing, so... You know, things are pretty cool. I actually quite like that it gets Shockwave as the move too because you can, uh, you know, land some, uh, you know, well, not a super powerful, but you can surprise the opponent with a electric type move. Especially if something came in like, you know, that was four times weak, maybe like a, uh, you know, a Mantine or something like that. Next Pokemon here is going to be a Klefki. I'm just going to go for an OV and the Klefki is going to be setting up that uh, light screen, but still... I'm still going to do a fair bit of damage to this. As you can see, with the light screen up, it still does load. So I can easily take this out in another hit. Now, there is light screen. There is a negative two in special attack too. Uh, the uh, trick room is going to end, and so is the miss. So Prankster is going to be a uh, Prankster on the um, cleft key there. It's going to be hitting my little Litwick there, and it's going to be paralyzed. But I don't really know what cleft key can do to me. I can go for a steal, like flash cannon. Uh, I feel like they would have used foul play already, foul play or something along those lines. I think it's just setting up the screens. That's all it's going to be doing. So go for another OV, and that is going to be the end of the Klefki. So Weezing's down and Klefki's down. So a solid start to the battle here just with my uh, opening uh, Litwick, which is awesome. Now, I actually have done a Litwick sweep as well. I did it, I think I did about a year or maybe two years ago. I had like a stream sniper while I was, I was trying to get this sweep. Was, I, I'm pretty sure that was the same battle. Okay, so in comes Primarina. That's going to dispose of my Litwick pretty quick. And we're going to bring in Lampert. So you see how it's, uh, it's probably not the most obvious change there, but its flame inside actually changes color. It's not the more of like a, a pink style flame. So I'm going to be poisoned there, obviously, due to the, uh, the toxic spikes. And Primarina goes for a sing, but that is not going to be uh, landing or working. And now I'm going to be going for a curse on Lampert. So since Curse is going to be affect me differently to a normal uh, Pokemon, I've got a, a being a ghost type, that's going to cut half my health and put a Curse on Primarina. Now this set is a bulky Everlight set with Flame Body. I've got Pain Split, will o -Wisp, Fire Spin, and Curse. So I've got Fire Spin to trap the opponent. I'll be honest, I didn't think that I'd be able to live a couple of attacks here, so I just went for Curse right away to get some form of damage on Primarina because it was a fairly threatening Pokemon. Uh, as you can see, so it's got that uh, liquid voice, uh, hyper voice there. So it's got half itself down, which is good. I'm thinking I can probably bring one of my other Pokemon in to try and take it out. We're going to go into Chandelure now. Of course, I'm going to be poisoned again. Now, this was a, uh, this is a, this is like the best set on my team. So we've got Fire Mist, Shadow Ball, Shockwave, and Clear Smog. Clear Smog was there for Dynamax, so I could go for Max Ooze and Shockwave, which is a nice, handy electric type move, too. Sometimes I had a couple of Gyaradoses come in, it's quite funny, and Shockwave would just like decimate them. It does have other coverage, too, on the like grass with like energy balls and stuff like that, but it is a nice little surprise if you do pack our Shockwave. A little bit of fun, too, and it also doesn't miss. Now, that's going to be the end of the Primarina, and out comes the Grim Snarl. So I'm thinking right here, well, um, I could go for a Max Ooze here. 
that's going to do a lot of damage. So this Chandelure has got a Salic Berry as his item, and we've got the ability as Infiltrator. So Infiltrator is another very handy ability. When you look at all three of these abilities, like Infiltrator, uh, Flame Body, and Flash Ride, they're all very handy in their own right. You know, it's not really... None of them are... I would say any of them are super overpowered, but none of them are, like, absolutely terrible. So, you know, Flame Body can change the course of the battle, uh, you know, as can Infiltrate if you need to get past, uh, you know, screens and other things like that. And um, we've also got the Flame uh, Flash Fire, too, so you can swap into a Fire Time move. That probably wouldn't be happening on this scene because I'm using all Fire-type Pokemon, but just in a general sort of battle sense there, if you did have a Pokemon that was, you know, weak to... Uh, Fire, you can swap it in. So we're going to go for Dynamax Chandelure. Going for that Max Zeus there, coming off the uh, the clear smog. And that's going to be boosting my special attack to, you know, sky-high limits. Like, Chandelure has got a thumping special attack stat. Now, I could go for another Max Uzi and take it out. And, you know, that's easy. Going to have another attack. And we've got a nice little uh, a nice little lead here at the moment. So Grimstar is going to go for a rest. Uh, they're obviously trying to stall out my Dynamax here. Now, I know my attack won't take them out. Probably do like around three quarters damage. But I guess they successfully survived another turn of the uh, Ontario. So instead of going for that, I actually went for Max Flare because I thought I had enough to take out the Grimstar. But uh, he just hung on, unfortunately. So it's going to need another hit to take it out here. So Chandelou is taking a little bit of toxic damage here. I can go for another Max Ooze here and take Grimstar out. Uh, so Grimstar is going to go for a Sleep Talk. It's a Rest Sleep Talk set. And unfortunately, they get a arrest. You love to see it. You love to see it when you're versing someone who does it. But when you get that uh, Rest Sleep Talk... It really does hurt. So that's the end of Grimmsnarl right now. And this Chandelure is loaded up. Like it's got a lot of special attack at the moment. Now, people, if you are enjoying the videos and you want to support the channel, make sure you do hit that like button. It only takes a second and it really does help uh, my channel out a lot there and my videos. And it only takes a second. Plus, it also allows you to see my videos more often and recommended and all those other sort of things there if you don't quite see them all the time. Okay, next up, Pokemon is going to be Revombi. They're going to go uh, and use protection here. So I guess they're just using that to uh, get my Chandelure a little bit more damage. I just went for Clear Smog there because I'm like, well, you know, I mean, what's Ribombi really going to do to me? It's you know, a bug move, a, a fairy type move. Now they're going to go for Fake Tears here. I, I must say, I didn't expect the Fake Tears. That's going to drop my special defense by two stages. So since Chandelure has so much special attack at the moment, it drops Ribombi with one Clear Smog. Man, that was like ultimate disrespect there. So Ribombi is going to faint there, and they've only got one more Pokemon left here. However, they haven't actually Dynamaxed their Pokemon yet. So in comes Gardevoir, and that is going to be a Dynamax Gardevoir. Um, I just went for another Clear Smog here, because I thought, well, it's super effective. I could go for Fire Blast, but I might miss. And I sort of guessed that they were Dynamax or Pokemon. So I went for Clear Smog. It was going to be super effective uh, anyway. Plus, I still had another three Pokemon in the back if needed. So we're going to go for Clear Smog there. And, you know, Gardevoir's got pretty good special defense plus the Dynamax. So it's going to be able to eat that one like a snack. It's going to go for Max Mindstorm on my Chandelure here. He was already quite injured already from those, uh, you know, couple of turns of the Toxic there. And that is going to be the end of my Chandelure. Now, there is a Psychic Terrain on the field too. So any Psychic type moves are going to be hitting pretty hard. Now, I was thinking to myself, what should I swap in here? Uh, also, the Sunlight has gone there from the Max Flare from my Chandelure earlier on. Now, we're going to go into Litwick here, this second Litwick set. Okay, this is pretty cool. So, unfortunately, I can't do a lot here with this Litwick. I thought it was a good Pokemon to actually swap into Gardevoir. It's a minimized Pain Split, Toxic, and Nightshade set. I've got Infiltrator as the ability, Everlight as the item, Max Health, and Max Defense. And I've also got uh, Sassy Nature on there. So, it's just a bulky uh, sort of minimized set. Unfortunately, I knew that it wouldn't work very well against a Dynamax Pokemon, but I knew that it had the capacity to live at least one attack and plant a Toxic on the Gardevoir. So that was going to be its role in this battle, uh, like mostly there. But a lot of the time, I could get some minimized up and get like the, the strategy was to get the minimized up, to get the Toxic up, and then get the Pain Spit off there to uh, you know KO the Pokemon team. And you had some, you had some sort of presence about you as well with Nightshade. I felt that was a good move to have on there. I was going to put like a fire spin, but I sort of decided like against that. But, you know, fire spin will work very, very well too because you can trap the opponent in. So Gardevoir is going to hit me with a grass type move. I want to say they come off like energy ball and Litwick is going to be fading there. I guess they did that to 
uh, heal the Gardevoir with the, you know, grassy terrain and stuff like that. Maybe uh, stub off that toxic damage for a little bit longer. We're going to go into Lampet now. This is my second Lampet, and this is also another bulky set. So this is actually a trapping set. Now, Gardevoir is out of us. Dynamax here. I've got the... Let me just... Wait, no. This is the physical set. Sorry, sorry. I've got a Choice Banded set. I thought this would be fun to use. Infiltrator Choice Band, Trick Payback, Flame Charge, and Poltergeist. So the funny thing here, like, you wouldn't read about. So they hit me with a side shot. Fair enough. I went for Poltergeist, and it failed. The Gardevoir did not have a item. So as you know, if the opponent doesn't have an item and you use Poltergeist, it fails. So I got trolled really, really hard here. So I wasn't sure what strategy they had here with the Gardevoir not having an item. Acrobatic Gardevoir. But seriously, they got me good there. And the double side shock is going to be enough to take out the Lampert. That was a very, uh, you know, quite a bulky Lampert there with Max Health and uh, Choice Ben. So that's the end of Lampert. Unfortunately, it uh, fainted in a, in a salty rage. I've got one more Pokemon left and it is my Chandelure, number two. So Gardevoir is going to be fainting very, very soon. It's going to need to hit me pretty hard now. So this Chandelure is also a physical set. I've got Flame Charge, Poltergeist, Giga Impact, and Thief. We've got the Flame Body as the item and Weakness Policy. Sorry, Flame Body as the ability. Someone's going to race me for that. And the Weakness Policy as the item. Max Speed, Max Attack, and Jolly Nature. Three minutes left remaining on this battle here. I just went for Giga Impact on the Gardevoir. I was like, I hope this doesn't miss. I want to get the Giga Impact KO. It lands, and a Chandelure just smashes into Gardevoir. And that is the very first battle there. I'd say it would have been able to tank a side shock, like reasonable, but it still would have hurt a lot. Thank you, Jimsy, for the battle there. And let's get on to our next uh, battle here. We've got a uh, battle against uh, Bella. And this is actually a, a pretty interesting team, too. And not the greatest matchup in the world for a Liquid uh, Evolution team. Now, the first Pokemon is going to be uh, Basculin. So I've got my uh, Litwick lead here. Actually sort of reminds me, I hope that we actually can use the yellow uh, Stripe, uh, Basculin, and Basculegion. Like, I could do, um, I could do, I guess I could do like Basculin, Red, Blue, Yellow, and Basculegion. That'd be a really, really cool team. Like, in the past, I did uh, the Blue and the Red Stripe, and I did like the shiny version for like four Pokemon. But it'd be cool to be able to use a Hisaway Pokemon. Hopefully, you know, hopefully I get to actually use them. Uh, in the future. It'll be quite exciting. Uh, so we're going to go for a Trick Room against Basculet. It's a very, very fast Pokemon, but this is like some crazy, like, I don't know, it's got Whirlpool. I'm like thinking it might be like a bulky set here, and you probably think, why would it be a bulky set? You'll probably get to find out in a second here. So I went for Shockwave. like, well, you know, Basculet's not very bulky at all. Let's go for Shockwave. That really did nothing. I expected at least over half damage there. Now the Basculant is going to go for a bounce. So I can see what sort of set they're running here. They've trapped me in with Whirlpool. It's going to do extra damage. And then bounce sort of stalls the damage out um, on the Whirlpool. And it does extra damage on top itself. So the uh, bounce is going to hit here on my Litwick. And that's obviously going to be more than enough to take little Litwick out there. So it trapped me in. I couldn't swap out or do nothing. Now we're going to go into Lampert here. Now, this is the Choice Band Lampert. So last time I got Troll because the Gardevoir didn't have an item, but this time I'm going to be going for it. So I'm going to go for that Poltergeist Choice Band and uh, Outspeed Mask. I was like, wow, Outspeed, it's got a Grip Claw. So that's cool. So obviously, uh, Grip Claw is in combination with the uh, with the Whirlpool there. So that's going to be doing a little bit of uh, you know extra damage there. Uh, so now, sorry, it's going to be uh, locking me in for another turn. It's easy to get Binding Band and Grip Claw actually mixed up, whereas Binding Band uh, you know extends that um, you know, does that extra damage. So now we got the Basculin uh, actually Trick Room running out here because uh, I forgot that was actually up, and now it's going to hit me with a Whirlpool here. So Whirlpool is doing a lot of damage still. So go for Bolter, guys, and hoping I take this basket out. This is going to be my last hit here. This definitely has Bolter. Like, that should have... I want to say a normal Basculin with no uh, EVs in health or anything like, or defense or spec, like stuff like that, would have been dropped by that or gotten very, very close. So next Pokemon, the Basculin, it's going to go for a Tail Whip. I'm like, what is this moveset? It is a full Basculin team here. So all different kinds of Basculin sets. So I can see that it's got a Life Orb. I just went for Roller's Ice again. Like, I couldn't really do, like, much of this thing at all there. And now it's going to go for a Disrespect Ice Fang. And that is enough to take my lamp out. That was very cruel of them to do that to take me out with an ice type move there uh the funny thing is it is going to fight the next turn to a uh, any like attacking move so we're going to go to litwick here this is the uh this is the infiltrator everlight set with minimize like, whoa i can go for minimize here this will be handy 
So now Baskin's gonna go for a tail whip again. I'm like, oh no, what? Like, what move's gonna be coming my way this time? So Litwick is gonna be able to get that minimize off there. So if I can get like another minimize or two off, it's gonna be very, very difficult to land an attack on this Litwick. They may even be forced to go for Dynamax. Straight up with that head smash lands on the very first go, and Litwick gets absolutely decimated. Like, that was that was fairly lucky laying that head smash there. I mean, head, you know, head smash isn't you know, 100% actually it is. But uh, Baskin is going to be fainting. So, you know, suddenly half my team was being wiped out there. Next Pokemon is Baskin. Like, they gave it like, is this like a roasting Baskin team? Like, for, uh, uh, based off the nicknames? I'm not really, you know, really sure. So this is a will o uh, Fire Spin set. So like, okay, well, it's got a physical move. How about we go for will o and burn him? So it's going to be a scale shot basket. I do like this team has different sort of movesets. So it's, you know, there's not like a water type move on every single basket. They tried to use different types of moves and strategies here as well. Uh, so go for will o -Wisp. It is seems to be a physical attacker. So that's going to help a lot. So if I can get that will o -Wisp going and then go for fire spin, that at least will trap the basket in there. And then I might be able to, you know, go for a, uh, a curse. And then a pain split. And that should be all, almost enough to take out this Baskin. Well, that's what I'm hoping anyway, right? And um, they may... I, I, I feel like they might have, like, a um, a King's Rock on their set. Like, it wouldn't surprise me. Like, people like to troll me all the time. So I'm going to get that curse up there on the Baskin, which is going to be very good. I am going to lose a, uh, a, a chunk of my health there. But I've got that going now. So I've got the option to go for pain split next turn. Will I get a lot of health back? Well, not really. But it's going to be better than doing nothing. So I could go for pain split and then for, you know, fire split again. So here comes another scale shot. It's hardly doing any damage to me at all here uh, due to that burn and the Everlight Bolt that I've got on this Lampard set. And this one, uh, I mean, this one's not even max defense. This is, uh, it's only got four EVs in defense. So go for the pain split there. It does get me a little bit of health back, which is okay. So the uh, Baskin's going to be fainting in two turns. So this turn included. So one more turn after this, it is fainting to curse. I, there's no real point for Baskin to swap out either. It's got low amount of health. It's burned, so I guess they're going to try and get as much damage as they can, uh, you know, before they uh, fight for sure. So that's three hits there, and this is the fourth hit on my Lampet, and they managed to roll five hits in there. Uh, unfortunately, for Baskin, once again, it was burned, so it was doing, like, hardly any damage. Uh, it's got, like, another speed boost there, too. Like, Baskin's uh, it's an interesting Pokemon. Now, uh, I don't wonder if this actually happened to anyone before. When you went fishing for a Baskin, right, and you got a shiny, but... It used Final Gambit. Has that ever happened to anyone before? Um, it definitely was a thing in uh, X and Y. Like, you could find it shiny, and it had Final Gambit in the wild. So, a very, very trolly move to have. So, next Pokemon is a Basculin. Another me. A poor, this, this poor Basculin's been called, like, dumb names the whole time. It's going to go for a, a Psychic Fangs, and that's the end of the Lampet there. So, all I've got left is... Uh, oh, I've got two Chandeliers left. So, I went into me, uh, my orange Chandelure there. And this one is the physical set. So like, okay, well, I might be able to get a flame charge off here, boost my speed, and then go maybe for Poltergeist. Or I could just, you know, maybe uh, Dynamax him. Maybe they'll use a Water-type move. I'm not really sure. Like, I'd like to get Weakness Policy, but uh, they're going to go for the Psychic Fang. So Psychic Fang does a lot of damage to me. I went for the Flame Charge here. So obviously, I'm going to try and outspeed uh, Bastille. So hopefully, after one hit, I am running Jolly Nature, so there is a chance, depending on, of course, what the EV spread is. So go for Polter Guys this time, and I outsped the basket. It's like, okay, it's got a choice band, so that's why uh, you can't use any other moves than uh, Psychic uh, Banks. Uh, Baskin is getting hit pretty hard by that, but, you know, Chandelure's attack really isn't the greatest thing in the world, and Chandelure is going to be fainting to two hits there. If only Baskin used a water-type move there, that would have been good. I, I nearly actually contemplated to go for Dynamax there. So, it's Chandelure time here. I know they've got a choice ban. I've got access to Shockwave. I could potentially put the Max Lightning on the field here too. That would be handy. I could go for Max Flare to power down any water type moves. I was just trying to think like what my options would be. So now we got the Baskin swapping out. So I'm guessing they're conserving that Choice Band Baskin. That could be a problem later. And another Baskin is going to come in. So I think they've got like three blue stripes and three red stripes. Yeah, that'd be it. So I feel like I can definitely take this Pokemon out. The problem is be able to outspeed out them. Like it sort of depends on what EVs they are, you know. I do like using these Pokemon teams myself that are one Pokemon, but you can sort of expand on like all the different sets it can be. Like the other day I did one with six different Agrons. It was, it was really fun. 
Uh, so we're going to go for a Max Ooze there on the Baskin. Excellent damage there. I can you know, simply go for another one, or I can even go for a Max Lightning too. That would actually power up uh, Shockwave when I'm, you know, obviously out of Dynamax there. So outspeeding the dumb fish, and that is going to be the end of that, which is awesome. So I've got plus one in Special Attack, and I've got the Electric Terrain on the field too, which is going to be very, very handy. So we've got two more Pokemon here. Now, there was that Choice Band of Baskin, which you've seen earlier on, and there was one up. Okay, I don't think we've seen d Dumber Fish yet. Wait. I don't know if we've seen Dumb Fish. Anyway, we're going to go for Max Lightning uh, on the Basculin. This is going to drop really hard. Let's go like a Focus Edge. So Basculin is going to be a special set. It's going to go for a Mud Slap. Uh, Mud Slap, unfortunately, is going to drop my speed. So any chance I had of outspeeding the other Basculin with the Choice Band is uh, definitely gone now. So obviously Basculin is not going to be living that attacking move. And it is going to be fading. Last Pokemon, of course, is the Basculin. And this is the Choice Band set we've seen earlier on. And now Chandelure is out of its Dynamax too. So I'm very, very prone to getting wrecked here. So like, okay, well, we've got Shockwave. Let's go ahead and use that. Basculin's got Head Smash. And Head Smash is going to annihilate my Chandelure in one shot there. And that's the end of the battle, people. I did have actually some recoil damage on Basculin. It actually feigned itself. But since my Pokemon went down first... You know, I ended up losing battle. But a really cool team there. I did like how they had such diverse moves on all their Basculins too. All right, people. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.